Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for tuning in today. My name is Goliath and this is my dark sides of the astrology series. I hope that you're enjoying it so far. Today we have a fucking sledgehammer to look at. So buckle up Cancerians out there. We are looking at you straight down the barrel of the gun. I am not going to be holding back in this one because you guys have got a fuck ton of shadow work to do. And I think we're just going to jump straight into it. Quick housekeeping, only looking at the sun signs, not looking at anything else on your chart, just looking at the dark side of the sun signs. And that's where we're at. Cancers, you guys are the biggest head fuck ever. You guys, to me, are almost as much as a head fuck as Gemini. And Geminis, you guys are at the bottom of the barrel for me. And that's how I feel about this sign. <laughs> um, you know, I'm sure there's some nice ones out there and I'm sure there's some lighthearted ones out there that are kind and good and, you know, aren't dark sided. But the dark sided ones, which is what we're focusing on in this video, are an absolute nightmare to deal with. Cancer is neurotic, manic, psychotic, and just an all round pain in the ass to deal with. These guys are very, very talented actors. And I'm going to get into that in a minute as to why they are. And if you know any Cancerians out there, and if you have a mum who's a Cancerian, or you have a dad or a friend or brother, and you see any of these red flags with cancer, please run, run. And it's actually really hard. And I really say run, run fast. Because the thing about the cancer is that they're actually really, really hard to get away from. Once those little pincers lock on, the pincer doesn't let go. <laughs> so it's really hard to get away from them because they're just like, oh my God, full on. So yeah, they're very, very good at mimicking feelings. And that's the thing. I mean, they have a lot of emotions, they have a lot of feelings, but I have to ask myself constantly, is it Cancerian's are they feeling their own feelings that are coming from a place within them? Or are they feeling feelings that's coming from you and they're just mimicking your energy back to you? So if you're happy, they're happy. If you're sad, they're sad. If, they're, if you're angry, they're angry. And that's the whole thing about their ruling planet, which it isn't even a planet. It's the moon. And it just revolves around the earth. And that's the thing. It's like they just, the moon has no light of its own. It only bounces energy that's reflective back off other things or back off the sun, back off the earth. So that's what they are. And there's just so many sides to this uh, sign. When I say sides, I mean emotive sides, not um, like multiple personalities, like the neurotic Geminis. But these guys are just like, just so fucked up. And I've had some really bad experiences with Cancerians. So I know firsthand exactly what it feels like to, to deal with, with dealing with this sign. They come across as loving, caring, emotional, nurturing. Um, but it really deep down, don't be fooled. It's just, a, it's another way to control you. That's what they really want. They just want to control you. And they're always mimicking you back to you. So it's like dealing with a Cancer is like walking through a mirror maze. And it's just like the further you go in, it's just like you just get lost in this reflective energy that just comes back to you. And it's just really hard to um, navigate. It's like they're a human hologram. I see a lot of Cancerians, low functioning Cancerians that are basically like, a, it's like, are you, a, are you a real person? Like, who the fuck are you? I don't know who you are. Um, but yeah, they just mimic everything back. So it's like they don't really have any idealistic individual sense of who, the, who they are. They just are a vampire to energy uh, around them and they just copy. They copy everything. They're very good with pop culture, like movies, um, things in Hollywood. They've got this whimsical performative thing that they're always doing, which I feel comes from um, the close sign that's in the chart to them, which is the Leo. And it's like they've kind of taken on the persona of a Leo, but that's what it is. It's a persona. They're always playing an act. That's, they have, this sign has a very, very deep capacity to act. These are the best actors and actresses in the world, guys. We're talking fucking, we're talking Oscar level here, okay? So these guys, they, they're not as deep as a Scorpio. Um, this is the most probably the most shallow sign of the water signs, I would say, because the crab doesn't like to go deep into the ocean. It kind of stays on the shore. It stays around where the sand is. So it doesn't go as deep as um, 
as you would think it does. And they don't like you to say that because they like to feel like they're really deep and they really get you on a deep level, but it's just a mirror and that's that's what's going on here. So you probably already know a Cancerian um, in your life. There's so many of them, they're everywhere. <clears throat> Where Pisces is a very rare water sign. I don't come across many Pisces on account of the mostly having mental health problems or suiciding, but Cancer really is quite a common sign. So their whole life is really just acting. So they just choose a script. They're very good with movies. A lot of them are um, around the production of making movies, making characters, writing scripts. They've got a really deep imagination. And um, the dark side of the of the Cancer. Sorry, I'm not sure if I said Capricorn before. <laughs> Sorry. The dark, the dark side of Cancer is it's like they just move on to one show after the next. And they have like multiple, multiple kind of characters that they play, which usually kind of goes for a couple of years or a couple of months. And then they just choose a different character and go on to the next one. Much like Gemini, which Gemini does that in a very short space of time. Cancer does the same thing, but just in a longer, more drawn out process. So after that, I get bored. They in the relationship or they um, the the spice of the energy is worn down. They just move on to a different stage in a relationship. And when I say stage, I mean like they'll go to another movie theater and just kind of change the movie and be in another movie. Like that's what they're like. Um, they are serious. Um, this is not a serious monogamous relationship sign. Um, they are very trepidous to con commit to things as well. So uh, a dark sided cancer is really quite um, like even when a cancer and like when a crab here, I've got a little crab, even when it like approaches you. Um, it, it approaches you from like a sideways crabs move sideways or backwards So um, I'll talk about why they they're always looking back where the way that they came like I mentioned in the last video Or they're very trepidous to approach you. So uh, also the crab has no vocal cords So these guys like a dark cancerian has fucking really poor communication skills because the crab has no throat It can't talk it can't express itself. It doesn't know like what what it's doing. Oh, well, it, it, yeah, they don't I don't think a really simple-minded Cancerian isn't self-aware enough to understand its own sense of self. So it just mirrors, like I said, they just mirror everything. They're like a human hologram. Um, no matter who they are, and sorry, the video cut out. I'm just going to re-edit this and put these two videos back together. Yeah, so they are just like a human hologram and it just it's whoever they're around, they become. That's what it is. It's very much like the Gemini. And their whole life is theatrical. It's just one stage after the next. Their whole relationships that they have are just one after the next after the next. Gemini generally moves a lot faster than Cancerians do. So with the Cancerians, their relationships could be a couple of years or a couple of months or a couple, you know, it's like a role for them. It's like a character. And then after that, they just move on to the next one. Gemini's move very quick. Cancer's move slower with that type of stuff as well. These guys are finger pointing to the nth degree. They're always pointing the finger. It's always someone else's fault. It's always my unhappy childhood. <laughs> always crying and carrying on. And that's part of that manipulation that they're trying to do on you um, is to gain your sympathy, to gain your trust. It's just an act. Don't, don't, don't take the bait. Don't take the bait with this sign. This can be a very dangerous sign. I'll get onto that a little bit later as well. Um, generally they, you know, because with the Cancerians, they keep everything on inside of them. So it's like the shell that they, they wear, they carry all of their emotional baggage, all of their emotional trauma and drama and unhappy childhood. They keep all of that with them throughout their life. They never really stop to unpack um, their own emotional problems. So they just move into another relationship with all of that drama and they bring that into the next one and then they bring that one onto the next one and it just compiles. And that's why they have these like explosive meltdowns where they'll be just going hysterical because it all just builds up. And the crab has no vocal cords, it doesn't talk. So their communication skills for a really basic Cancerian. Sorry, we got cut off there. I'm just putting that back on again. <laughs> yeah, their communication skills are very basic in that regard. So they are terrible at expressing their emotions. Goes without saying, they really can't just express what they're saying. They've got all this stuff that's all built up inside of them and the crab just doesn't talk. It doesn't have any vocal cords. And that's what it is. And a lot of their timelines don't make sense. A lot of the times, like their, their past partners or the conversations they've had with you, they backtrack a lot and it doesn't make sense. That's very normal for a dark-sided Cancerian. Um, but yeah, they, this is not for me. Like the, I've been through, I've had two partners in my life that are Cancerians 
and I would just say that I wouldn't this is not marriage material. This is not a sign that I'd want to wed and marry and be with and build a family with. This is not something as much as they would have loved to of. I just couldn't go through that in myself ever again. So I don't see these guys as like the long lasting type. I see this as more for me as like going on a holiday and meeting someone and having a play. And if you go overseas and you travel and um, you meet a dark sided Cancerian, have a fling, but it's not going to go much further than that. And they may try and, you know, get their little pincer claws into you but you know it just don't let don't take the bait that's what I'm trying to say is just please don't take the bait um, they're always on the lookout for future relationships they're always looking for the grasses greener on the other side but they're just so weighed down with all of their unpacked issues and trying to get them to go to see anyone is just an absolute big no-no um, so basically you've got to unpack all of their drama for them because they're not going to be prepared to do it and when they get tired of you and they're playing that character, they just move on to someone else. So like the play go to another stage and that's how they are. So it's like being around a Cancerian just on a daily occurrence is like a roller coaster ride. And it's not a good one. <laughs> so um, yeah, like I said, after every six months or so, they're on to the next. Um, I don't know who I trust less. I mean, I mean this this sign for me, I've been burned so badly by this sign. So if anyone reserves the right to, and not because not because I've been in relationships with Cancerians before, but because. I'm privy to seeing, you know, I'm, I'm medium, I'm psychic, I can sense things, feel things. So when I tell you with these water signs, and I'll say this, even though I am a water sign myself, I will say water signs are not loyal. They are not fucking loyal. A lot of them aren't. Their only loyalty is to themselves. And that's the thing. They've got this ever shifting um, sense of emotions, which just never stop. And in the Buddhism philosophy, that's what it is. Emotions are neurotic and er erratic. We're supposed to feel them as they come and then we let them go. But cancer can't do that. They, they act from a place of emotion and that rules everything that they do from their family to how much food they eat to like the decisions that they make. They're all based on emotions and that's not a good place. There's no head here. Where Capricorn, the opposite of Cancerian, operates from a place of the head. So they hold their love in their head. Cancer operates from a place of heart. So they operate from the heart and that can get you hurt or killed. And a lot of Cancerians that are very weak willed are just yes people. They just say yes to everyone, yes to everything. And they're just pushovers basically. A lot of them are too nice for their own good. The light the light sided Cancerians that aren't manipulative and psychotic are too kind and they just get taken for a ride. And they're a never ending like ball of worries. They're just constantly worrying about everything. Everything could go wrong. If you're late from being home at work, someone could have murdered you. It could have been a car crash. It could have been a volcano, a tornado, anything. They just worry and panic and just get themselves caught up in this really um, destructive spiral. And that's how they are. Like, oh my God, it's just, it, and they just build, it all builds up inside of them. And like I said before, like with the, with the planet of, I mean, they don't have a planet. They just, they are the moon. It just revolves around things. So they, they pick someone to be the center of their world and then revolve around them. Uh, a dark sided Cancerian does that. It doesn't really have its own feelings. They're fake. They're fake as hell. They're just reflection. It's a reflector. That's why in my card, in my tarot deck, when I did the moon, I just did a really simple moon because that's what it is. It just reflects things back in the shadow. They shadow reflect. They light reflect. That's what they do. That's what acting is. They're actors. They just mimic, mimic energy. So it's so hard to determine like what's real and what's not because 99% of the time, they're just probably going off some kind of unconscious script that they don't even know. And if you do happen to call them out and you know hit their little sweet little fragile ego, they'll turn on you. Um, and you don't get cut by a cancer and you get little nips. They just nip you to death. So think about being like tied up and just trapped. Like I see some cancerians and as steel traps. I see <laughs> I see them as like a steel trap that just bang, it just shuts on your leg and you can't get out. And they'll just gnaw away at you and wear you down. They're very naggy, very whiny. Um, and yeah, you're never gonna get them to go to see anyone about their relationships. Although they love unpacking your relationships. They wanna know everything about your relationships and your childhood trauma. A lot of them make terrible, fucking terrible counselors terrible um, psychologists because it's just like dealing with other people's problems as a perfect like way of not having to face their own shit 
or they um, they're trying to always fix everyone. These guys are fixers. They want to have, but it's like fucking fix yourself. Get your own shit together. Work out who you are. It's like this power control thing that they do. A lot of them are school teachers as well. Um, so they have like that long winded conversations and they drag it out. It's very hard to get what a Cancerian wants out of you. Um, I'm a direct sign. I'm Scorpio, Sag, Leo, direct, direct. This is what I want. This is what I want. Suck my dick. That's it. That's what I want. Do it. Like Cancerians, they ha they come around to things. They don't go through things. And that kind of is how they deal with life. Say there's a problem here. Cancerian approach. Here's problem. Cup. Yep. Cancerian comes along. Whoop. Got to, rather than go through things, Cancerian's got to go around things. And then, but the problem is the problem just comes back around again. And that's what it is. It's just spinning around in a circle like the moon revolves around the earth they don't really deal with karma well because karma they don't learn lessons so the lesson just repeats itself again and again and they just act the same thing it's like think of the movie um groundhog day i think about that film when i think of cancerians and so yeah a lot of them are school teachers because that puts them in that carer position they've got someone to uh, you know be authoritative over they've got to have that authority as well um but yeah they'd rather unpack someone else's emotions and play that character for them than be you know work on their own self and deal with their own subconscious stuff that's really kind of going on with them because that's just how they are <clears throat> so <laughs> so and they can be quite narcissistic as well and a lot of them are very talented as well. There's a lot of talent in cancer as well with that mimicking thing. So generally, if they can't get the need net, like I said with drag queens, uh, what the drag queen is, it's a man who couldn't get his needs met as a man. So he creates a persona of a female as a, as a female impersonator, and then he's able to get those needs met and get that attention by proxy by creating a character. And um, it's not a direct thing. So you don't really know who the fuck they are because they've got this other alter ego going on that they've created which is kind of what leo can do sometimes um which is allowed to say all the things that they could never say as themselves as a basic as a simple cancerian archetype their ego creates that other persona and i've seen this my whole life and it's just really um they do it out of convenience or they do it out of like it's a way of hooking you in um a lot of them have different names a lot of, like the gemini a lot of cancerians make up um like different names on different pro they have about five or six different fucking Instagrams, five or six Twitters, like they've got all these different names. Um, they love the honeymoon phase in a relationship. They love being love bombed and showered with affection and attention because they're very insecure. Cancerians are so insecure. They may have that tough shell on the outside, but deep down they are just a bag of nerves. Like Virgo, they've got to be told that they're special. They've got to be told that they're beautiful. They've got to be told that you love them, that you're not going to leave them. They're just like, and it's so naggy. Like they just fucking nag the hell out of men. Like a lot of men look at a Cancerian, deal with them and just like no nah, can't do it no way um they'll also use sex to withhold sex to manipulate the man i've seen that a lot with um female cancerians as well um so yeah they love that the love phase but of course the love phase eventually wears over after that honeymoon period and then they're just like well how come it's not wonderful and fabulous anymore and because i don't understand like a marriage that you go through is going to have all these ups and downs and highs and lows and peaks and troughs they want everything to be in this kind of loved up state and so the moment that that spell wears thin, it kind of snaps off and then they go looking for grass greener somewhere else. So that's how they are. Their emotion, it's all based on emotions. That's what it is. Their bank account is very important to them. So they've got secret bank accounts that you would never know about going on in the background. They put a little bit of their pay into that other account. You'll never see it if you're in a relationship with them. This is a very secretive sign. This sign, like I said, is not a direct sign. So what they will do they will say if you're drowning in the water a cancerian wouldn't jump in and save you no 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 cancerian could get their hair wet they could they could get their shoes wet someone else will take care of that i don't want to get involved so cancerians will call out to the lifeguard that's like they're not heroes and in that sense they're not like a leo or a sag will jump straight in cancerians always are about self-preservation first um, and taking care of their needs first. It's all about them being nurtured or nurturing someone else of lower status than them. So a lot of Cancerians end up as nurses or they end up in some kind of like mental health thing where they're helping other people. Um, but most of the time it's an ego boost. And Cancerians love to date losers. They love it because that way they are themselves can it be elevated in a place that's socioeconomically and mentally stronger or higher than the other person. So 
that's kind of like another tactic of control that a dark Cancerian uses. And um, that's just how they are. Yeah, Cancerian men are womanizers as well. Um, you know, and they always have bad credit. Cancerians burn their credit. So it's always, they, they kind of manipulate you into doing what their bidding is. So they'll ask you to buy them a property or buy them a car. It's always someone else buying them something. And that's just kind of how it tends to be. They'll pick out the, the thing that they want the most, but the problem is they don't have any money. So you've got to pay for it for them. Like I've noticed a lot of that going on, a lot of emotional, they use emotional manipulation to create financial security. That's a, so they'll tug on your heartstrings and give you the soap opera story about how hard their life was. Um, and generally it's little petty things like really stupid shit. These guys are immature. Cancerians are big babies. They're the big emotional babies of the Zodiac. They just are a non-stop head fuck to deal with. Uh, Cancerian men, by the way, don't want women that are stronger than them. They want a woman that is weaker than them. Um, that will kind of nurture them in a way where it's like they want a mother. They, they just want a mother. Like the Cancerian men really just go for women that are like their mother. They don't. What I'm trying to say is they don't, without beating around the bush, Cancerian men date and marry and wed and fuck women that remind them of their mum. that Oedipus complex. Like that's another thing that they've got going on. Um, so they like they never let go of them. The, the uh, um, umbilical cord between the mother and the child with a Cancerian child is never actually severed. Even in death, it's never severed. So when I come across a Cancerian that has a destructive relationship with their mum, um, that means their mum was bad. That means their mum was fucked up because that's the biggest red flag of all. If a Cancerian isn't friends with their mum and the most important person in their life isn't their mum or dad or grandma, they love their grandmas by the way, um, then you know that the mother has done something really savage to cut the Cancerian strings. A lot of Cancerian men are very femme and they pretend to be straight when they're actually homosexuals. A lot of them are closeted. Yet again, it's all secretive. It's all under the carpet. Um, so their wife knows. Their wife, she knows. She knows. Everyone knows, but except the Cancerian. Um, they Sometimes with Cancerian, they've got blind sides. So something that's blatantly obvious to everyone, the Cancerian is completely unaware of. So Cancerians will date a loser and be like, why does everyone not like him? I don't understand why. Um, because they just, that yet again, they lack that self-reflection. So the light side of Cancerian is self-reflection, self-reflective to itself, not reflective to other people. And they make good psychics as well. A good Cancerian, a closet, uh, sorry, a, an out... Um, an outward energy going outwards that's able to analyze the world in a Cancerian can be actually in the light side can be a very powerful medium if the energy is channeled correctly. Otherwise, it just goes back inside themselves. This is a very internal and reactive sign. So that's just kind of how they are. With As parents, the Cancerians tend to lose, lose themselves through their kids. So they project themselves into their kids. It's all about their fucking kids. Their kids are so wonderful, even if their kids are little monsters. Um, and so they, yeah, they're the quintessential drama queen, beauty pageant queen. Um, they love big hair. Cancerians love their hair just like Leos do. Cancerians generally have nice, long, wavy hair. It's usually soft. Um, Cancerian women tend to dye their hair a lot, um, mostly lighter colors I've noticed. So it would be like bleach blonde. Um, that's a very Cancerian thing, except they really hate the regrowth of the blonde. <laughs> And so basically they'll lose themselves and their kids because it's just another excuse to not have to take care of their own mental health. Anything that they can lose themselves in, they've got to be obsessed with something. Cancerians are not happy unless they're stalking someone or they're obsessed with someone or they're obsessed with something that they enjoy. So yeah, trying to teach them a lesson is just, it just never works. It just can't seem to get through a lot of them. Um, a lot of can baby, very simple-minded Cancerians really struggle to comprehend complicated things, particularly with logic. They're not good with logic. They're only good with emotions. But I mean, that's how it is. They keep everything internal. Everything's always kept inside. It's never really like, you know, they, they keep all these secrets, really heavy secrets on their chest. Cancer, by the way, can keep a secret. I will give them that. They do keep good secrets. Um, they understand, they're very secretive in themselves anyway. 
but they tend to be a dark sided cancerian tends to be like uh, too uptight and sometimes it's like um, they make a mountain out of a molehill and that's one of the female traits that I've noticed with them as well so they kind of take some really small insignificant thing and blow it out of proportion and make it into this big thing where everyone feels sorry yet again to regain control a lot of really weak cancerian women are always complaining about how lonely they are and they've always got to need a man to take care of them or they wish they had a man on you know man where's the man where's the man um, it's just it's always complaining that's kind of how they are in relationships they're always complaining that's just what they do I can't say that enough about this sign um, so yeah they like to be um, they like they love the attention from a man and they prefer a lot of Cancerians are very femme but they pre prefer probably look they change up their characters with a man as they would to a woman so they really they I think I think secretly Cancerians value men over women more actually I've noticed that a lot um, and cancer because it's their way of uh, power thing with like enticing men through sex or trying to get them to be attracted to themselves like that's just kind of how they are I hope that makes sense a lot of them have really strange eating habits as well Cancerians have really strange um, quirky food habits uh, that's another thing. They're always at the fridge. I mean, they just want to stay home and eat food. That's just what it is. Home, it, Their home is the center of their universe. So with a Cancerian, I mean, their home has to be comfortable. It's got to be, um, it's their soft place to fall. That's what it is. So, and their fridge and their eating, it's like, they just, they just don't know when to stop. Like I said, I've actually got a cousin um, who has got a, can, had a Cancerian daughter. And when she was a little girl, she had to put a padlock on the fridge because the little girl just could not stop going to the fridge and eating all the food in the house, so there was no food left. They're very sneaky as well. Um, so when a Cancerian, like you come home from work, they want to check where you've been. They're very possessive like that. I, I remember how possessive they were. Uh, like, what time are you coming home? What, what time, like when? How do I know you're gonna come? Are you gonna come straight from work to home? I need to know. Um, with this sign, there is no sense of privacy as well. So they just, they'll like giving them your passwords to your phone is completely normal to a Cancerian. They need to know everything of where you are at all times otherwise they'll be clamming up in the clam getting uptight getting upset having all those irrational cancerian fears you could be cheating on me they're so fucking defensive and insecure and then they go back into their shell and then you try and like you know try and get them to come out of their shell and then they go back in again it's just like oh my god it's like standoffish attack go back in standoffish attack go back in it's like a cycle like that um, so yeah, they're always going to think the worst. They always think that you've been in an accident or they're just freaking out all the time about nothing. They're so concerned with like really insignificant, minuscule things become big things. Like that's just how they are. And I can't say that enough. They hate being the center of the joke as well. Uh, as long as they're happy to make jokes on other people, but secretly Cancerian's feelings get really badly hurt when they think someone else is talking about them. And if it gets back to them, they get really upset. So you've got to like lighten up a little bit. The dark side of cancer is very uptight but in that way. Um, they're cheapskates as well. A lot of the Cancerian men are very cheap. So they don't really like, they don't value monetary um, exchange back to you in that regard. So they tend to want to spend your money. Um, but when it comes to the Cancerian's money, particularly with the men, they're very guarded around that as well. Like I said, secret bank accounts. Can't say it enough. Um, and that's how they are. They're very smothering in relationships. They are just natural caretakers uh, and they're just kind of overbearing, always stroking, touching, look like very clingy. Like that's the word that I'm looking for. They're very nitpicky and fussy and worrying and clinging and annoying. And that's kind of how they are. They're hypersensitive. So, you know, I even had a girlfriend. Uh, sorry, I had a, a boy, uh, a male friend years ago who had a girlfriend and he told me that when he went out to the letterbox to check the mail, um, his girlfriend got mad because he went to the letterbox without telling her or he went to the letterbox and she got jealous that he went to the letterbox without bringing her to the letterbox at their house to get the mail. She'll get upset about that. Like we're talking irrational shit here, guys. Like think really irrational, like fearful, crazy, insecure, like that type of energy. Like this is not something that a Sagittarian male would put up with for two seconds. Most fire signs are not compatible with water, with this water sign in particular anyway. 
Um, and they're always creating problems as well. So they'll start up making problems, um, gossiping. Um, they're very, like I said, they're not direct. So rather than just going to someone and saying, hey, I think you're a bitch or hey, you know, you did this that upset me at work. Um, they go and gossip. These guys are big gossips at the breakout room. They'll be gathering everyone around the coffee machine and trying to, you know, telling everyone about, what, you know, what over, like trying to, you know, if they can't control their ma manager, they're going to try and control the way other people see their manager as well. So they're, they're big for gossip in that regard. Um, rather than just dealing with things directly, they do, like I said, they deal with things indirectly. Um, when it comes to sex, the Cancerian, Cancerian females are like big mamas. Think of like big breasts. Um, I don't see a lot of Cancerian women having breast implants. I generally see a lot of Cancerian women having breast reductions because of the fluid sacs on their chest. That's what it is. It's the mother. It's the... It's the maiden energy in the tarot. So it's about empress energy. It's about giving, nurturing. Um, so I don't, and Cancerian women tend to always gain weight. Cancerian women gain weight even more than the Taurus woman. They just can't stop gaining weight. It's just how their body is. And particularly around the stomach, it, that's just what they are. That's just how they're um, astrologically, genetically created. Um, sexually, they always look backwards as well. So if they've been with a sex partner for many years, is they and they get a new partner the way that they look at sex um, whatever the ex-partner did they want the other partner to do or if the other partner did something they didn't like that area of their body might be off limits to someone like they're very much like about the past they're always looking back over their shoulder one thing I want to stress in this video with the dark side of cancer is that they are um, always living in the past they just can't put stuff down. I used to know a Cancerian girl I used to work with many years ago, and she was just such a fucking whiny, complaining bitch, and she just would never stop talking about her ex-husband and about all of the mean things he did to her and how he was a bastard and all this shit. And that was 20 years ago. Get over it. At some point, you just have to get on with your life. You have to go do the healing and move forward and get on with your life. But I mean, and he couldn't get away from her fast enough because she was just like, I'm explaining why. I mean, Jesus, if I haven't explained it enough in this video, I don't know. I don't know how to get it through to you. Um, but that's what they're like. So, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so much going on in this video. Fucking hell. Uh, I told you this was going to be a heavy one. Um, so, yeah, when it comes to their issues... They are always looking for a diversion. It's like bait and switch as well in relationships. So they divert any energy off because it's bouncing energy off things um, as a deflection mechanism, um, but also a way for them to evade having to deal with anything that's real. And that's just how they are. They live in an elusive world, much like Pisces does as well. They want to create this beautiful garden that you come and live in with them, in like in a movie or something. Um, they love movies. I think I mentioned they love pop culture. So they're always like buying Who Weekly magazines. They're always checking out like, you know, knowing all the scandals of the celebrities because they wish they could be the celebrity. They've got to have that other alternative world going on that they've created. Um, and they love drama, they love gossip, like I said. Um, they're very emotive in that regard as well. So it's like just everything is just so heightened in emotion. And, um, you know, it's just, oh, oh my God, it's just too much. But yeah, emotional intelligence, I don't know. Look, these guys, at the, in terms of emotional intelligence, it's funny because the Cancerians should be at the top of emotional intelligence, but a lot of them are really at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to emotional inter intelligence. They just don't get it. Um, they've always got snacks. They've always got supplies. These guys have bunkers in their house. Their pantry is always overstocked with like food. Um, it could be like rice, pasta, staples. These guys are very big on conspiracy theories as well. I see a lot of Cancerians that are really caught up in all of these crazy um, neurotic ideas about the world ending or the end is nay. Um, they carry bags with them, the males and females. Um, literally like a shell like so even the men even the dudes they have like bags with like everything under the sun it could be like samples from Bunnings from the shop the paint sample card or it could be it could be like a pack of like cigarettes it could be like a hairbrush like there's anything practical that you might need a cancerian has got it in their bag on them at all times it's like a man bag kind of thing and they just carry that with them they love snacks they love to snack it makes them com they like lots of comfort food it's always comfort everything's got to make them feel treasured and special and you've got to make them feel treasured and special 
and they are very jealous of other signs as well so if you're in a relationship with a cancerian and you have a female friend at work she'll be always suspicious that you're cheating on on her with your colleague at work um, when they offer to take your clothes and wash them what they're really doing is wanting to check to see whether you've actually got any lipstick stains on the jacket or whether someone else's phone number might be in your pants or something and like I said these guys will hack your phone so they'll, they'll watch you put in your passcode on, on the iPhone and then they'll grab the phone and then they'll, want to, they'll look at your phone while you're in the shower. These guys are naturally suspicious. They'll go through your emails. They want to read everything. No one can stalk like a Cancerian can. I even have a cousin who is a Cancerian and she's pro we haven't spoken in like God knows many, many years, but she's probably stalking me right now. I'm, I feel that she, I know she is. Hey, Emma, you're a nosy bitch. Hi, I'm talking about you and I know you're watching me because you follow and stalk everyone in the house, in the family, in your house, everywhere. So yeah, what's good, Emma? <laughs> so yeah, um, no tea here. You can go report back to tell everyone else in the family that, you know, he's making these videos. Oh my God. And try and make up some story about it or some shit like that. Um, that's generally how you work because that's how Cancerians are. Um, yep, yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, these guys are very sneaky in business as well, so they're very dodgy. So a lot of them run businesses and they just take all of the money. Um, they're big on embezzling money as well. Um, I think there was this woman called Leona Hemsley. And if you even check out her story, actually, she was a Cancerian. And um, it, always embezzling money or borrowing money off someone and never repaying it back, that's a total Cancerian. And... Um, and yeah, so the credit that the money that she was making from her business just went straight into her personal expenses to build a mansion, to build a house with her husband. And she was done for tax evasion. And that's one of those things that, um, that they are very much known for. Also, the um, president of the Philippines was also stealing money from her people as well. And she was also a fucking hoarder. Oh, by the way, Cancerians are the biggest hoarders in the Zodiac. These guys hoard everything. And I mean everything. They've got rooms full of shit. And I mean shit. I mean like stamp collection collections, boxes full of picture frames. These, this sign confuses emo physical objects for emotion. They cannot like, that's what they, cause that's what they do. They just hold on to everything and keep building and building and building until you can't even fit in the house. They've got some crazy excuse for every type of little thing in their house. Like one day that could come in handy. Can't let that go. They can't let anything go. That's what they're like. So yeah, they can be two-sided as well with their bosses and colleagues at work. So they'll talk about you behind your back and then they'll go buy you a coffee or get you, you know, your breakfast in the morning, your donut, whatever. They're very big like that as well. So, you know, they're just two-faced in that sight in that regard as well. Um, they're always sucking up to their manager and you know, laughing at the manager's B-grade jokes. That's just how they are. It's just one of those things. But yeah, they're so neurotic and it's just, it is what it is. And once you notice these kind of, um, you know, these types of patterns of behavior you know you've got to get away from it because they just pull you back in i remember it's so hard to break up with a cancerian because a breakup to them is so traumatic oh my god it takes them so long to deal with emotion recover from emotion um this is the sign i remember in my life I, both cancerians when i broke up with them did the whole um a, try and trick me, I miss my period, I'm pregnant. Or B, they uh, clutched my leg, grabbed me by the leg, looking me up in the eyes going, please don't leave, I'll kill myself. <laughs> like, you know, saying they'll kill, they threaten suicide all the time. This sign threatens suicide all the time. If, you know, fuck, if, if I can't have you and if you leave me, I'll kill myself. That's a dark-sided Cancerian. Like, either way, you're screwed. Um, when they get really sick, I've noticed, and they're having like, oh, by the way, the can when a Cancerian is sick, oh my God, you will never hear the end of it. They will never stop going on about how unwell they are. These guys do not handle sickness well. They can't, they lay on the floor, curl up in a ball and rock in their bed. It's so dramatic. It's so over the top. And it's like, you've got a cold, get over it. You'll be fine in a couple of days. Just have some, you know, have some um, vitamins or some shit. Like, no, nah. and it's sort of what it is. Uh, Monica Lewinsky was a Cancerian. They're kind of social climbers as well, and they love can They love. She was giving head to Bill Clinton, so you know she. Um, you know they're very manipulative sexually as well. They tend to, like I said, they hold off and use sex as a tool to manipulate other people. 
That's what they do. Um, Lisa Renner from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills um, is a Cancerian and Pamela Anderson is a Cancerian as well. And they really are really heavy on the makeup as well. Like these guys love doing their cheeks a lot, uh, a lot of very rosy cheeks. Like their face tends to look like the moon sometimes. A lot of Cancerians have very moon faces. I call it the moon head. When I see them on TV, they've got these big moon heads and it's like, they look like, if you look at the moon and you see a face in it, that's what the Cancerian's faces look like. Um, but yeah, the <laughs> Um, yeah, they'll, they'll chase after you, breaking up with you, they'll, they'll stalk you, they'll set up other profiles pretending to be someone else to try and infiltrate you on social media, find you on Facebook. I mean, they are unhinged. Cancerians are mentally unhinged and delusional. They are disturbed. The deep ones go off the edge. Also, you've got to watch the Cancerians around the like full moon as well. Never break up with a Cancerian on a full moon. Don't fight with a Cancerian on a full moon. It's just, oh my God, you will just, you'll never forget it and I mean like not in a good way these guys are crazy crazy they'll throw insults at you they just and if they don't want to grow up they just oh it's just a nightmare <laughs> so I don't know what else to say I mean I think I've really nailed a lot of it um, their paternal or um, paternal instincts or maternal instincts never leave them so it, it's that whole I've got to assert mothership over someone else that never leaves them so a lot of them will have a lot of stray cats off the street lots of rescue animals and stuff like that and um, they'll just the, the animals will like be the top priority in the household over their own family members because they just like it's just it's just crazy how neurotic they can be um, but yeah, it's just another form of control and manipulation and it's another way for them to gain attention because then they can tell everyone that they've got all these rescue animals in their house. <sighs> oh my God. And with the uh, moon, I, like with the lunar pull, the, the pull of the tide is operated by the moon. So it's always in and out, in and out, low, high, low tide, high tide. And it's just up and down. And that's what it is. So they could be happy in the morning and angry at night. They could be happy in one minute. And then you go, hey, would you like a cup of tea that they asked for? No, I didn't want a cup of tea. I wanted something else. It's like, and somehow we're expected to know what they want. We're expected to tell, like we're expected to read their fucking mind about what they, about why they're feeling the way that they are. And then they pull their affection away to punish you. Another tactic that the Cancerians use as well. So don't fall for it. When they pull their affection away and they retreat into their shell, just let them go. And a very famous uh, thing I've noticed with the Cancerians, they cross their arms and look at you. When you see the Cancerian do this and they cross their arms, that means that they're unhappy and that's the Cancerian's defense pose. So um, that's a good one to look out for. That means they're about to attack with the, um, the little pincers and they're very nippy, like annoying. Annoying like with a Scorpio we have a Scorpio stinger that will get you but the Cancerians have their little claws and it's just like very passive aggressive little comments um, and that's the thing about Scorpio Scorpio like myself I don't do passive aggressive I do aggressive aggressive. Yeah, big difference. So when I say I want something, I'm going for it. I don't need to go around things sideways and and you know get be manipulative. I just go after what I want and just do it. I don't I don't and that's how I am. I don't really give a fuck what other people don't like me um, or how other people see me because I've already got what I want. I've already doing what I, I don't. There's nothing for me to prove other than anything to myself. Cancerians that are very insecure, they don't have that level of strength. So everything they do has to be carefully measured. That's another thing with the Cancerians. They're always measuring shit, always measuring how much energy he gave, how much energy I should give him. Um, it's just one of those water sign things that they tend to do. But a typical relationship with a Cancerian will be dysfunctional as hell because they just bring all their baggage with them. And they'll, um, if they were to get a partner in, in a relationship and they've already got kids, the other partner needs to understand or the new partner needs to understand that he will never be the focus of her life. Her kids will be. He'll be number two. And he'll probably be expected to cuck those kids, which means that he's like a cuck bird, like you're expected to raise some another man's kids um, for her she'll expect him to do that. So that's what they're like. They're big on family and they call that the caring thing. It's, yeah, it's really quite weird. Um, Cancerians tend to go for overqualified. They go for roles that they're overqualified for. This way it gives them that authority of energy, whether they can um, exert themselves over other people, which is what they, is what they do. 
<clears throat> and they're very good at snitching. These guys are very snitchy at times. They can hold darker, heavy secrets from their own self, but when it comes to secrets from other people, they just open up in two seconds. They um, can't keep their mouth shut. They just, that's what they're like. Um, so yeah, I am think I've got like, what else? I'm just thinking of anything else I could say. I mean, this is a very unbalanced sign in terms of like, um, codependent relationship dynamics with a Cancerian is just like an all too common reality. So every time I see them, I'm just thinking, oh my God, this is, you know, and it will be a codependent relationship. I mean, there's so many different relationship dynamics you can have, but this with Cancerians tend to be attracted to codependency. That's just how they are in relationships. Um, I know, and if you are a Cancer and out there watching this, I, you know, please watch those mood swings. Please watch those mood swings. I know to you they seem normal, but to other people they're extreme, they're violent. It's like, that's one thing I want to say. Like, Cancerians are just naturally bipolar. And these days it's almost like, well, I've got a mental illness and I've got borderline personality disorder. Well, I have bulimia. Well, I have this. It's like, it's like, it's almost like a fucking badge of honor. Guys, it's a fucking disorder. You're, it's mental disorder, okay? It's, it's not, it's neurosis, it's disease. You need to work on that. You need to go to therapy. You need to unpack that. You need to create integration and heal that and understand it so that you can live a full and healthy functional life. There's no point in going through life being in dysfunction. So when you have dysfunctional relationships with other people, well, that's a key indicator that you have dysfunction within yourself, Okay, that's the big thing I want to get out there. It's like the, having a mental health problem isn't something to be fucking proud of. It's something that you need to work on and recognize because you're causing damage to other people in their life okay? and take ownership for that. Okay, this is where I get really defensive. A lot of Cancerians can turn to alcohol. You've got to watch them around the booze, around the drugs, any type of distortion of reality to drown out their emotions. They're terrible drunks. These guys are terrible drunks. Not as bad as Pisces is, but Jesus Christ, an unbalanced Pisces is hell. It's hell on heels. So watch out. So yeah, do the work, understand your emotions and take control and take responsibility for your own behavior. And if you've around a Cancerian, maybe send them this video, you know, make them watch it, make, have a listen to what I'm saying. This is the dark side of the cancer. The light side of the cancer is not what we're looking at here, but that's what I've looked at today. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. There's always more for me to say. I've got so much in my head. I mean, I know a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff. So I've got to get this out there. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. So I will see you in the next video. We're either going to do Scorpio or Pisces, the dark side. So look out for that one. And Cancerians, don't take this to heart. Just take it on board and listen and process and yeah, do the work. Work on ah, just owning your emotions. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.